Hi, my name is Kathleen. Um, I'm curious how your team engages with MMT-based arguments about the national debt. I don't think there's any member of Congress that sort of like full-heartedly embraced it. Um, but yeah, curious how often that comes up and what your sort of like go-to responses this, tend to be. This is a great question. So the idea of MMT, I'm not sure even the MMT or know exactly the idea, but it's called modern monetary theory. And I think my most charitable way to describe it is it starts with something, it starts with two premises that are pretty much true. The one is that the US can't really default on its debt because we can print in our own currency. And the other is that one can manage the money supply, can manage borrowing by changing the money supply. Those two things are true, or can manage deficits. And then it sort of takes a whole shift. It sort of turns on head how we look in the world. And MMT says, um, actually, all government spending is creating money, and all taxes are destroying money, which I think is not true other than like in, in some kind of like metaphor way. But they believe it. It's literally true. It's kind of, I don't want to get into like Catholicism and like whether it's the literal or whatever. But like, I think they think it's literally true, just not metaphorically true. And because that's true, we really shouldn't try to change the money supply with monetary policy. The Federal Reserve really shouldn't do anything. And what we should do is manage the economy entirely through fiscal policy. Um, and, and I'm sorry, there's a lot of ands because the MMT has got increasingly layered. That usually means running very high deficits because debt doesn't matter because there is no debt because you're basically printing money. So it means running really high deficits to guarantee full employment, but deficits can be too high and you will see that through inflation. And that used to be where it ended. But then there was an additional but ended after we borrowed two trillion extra a year and had major inflation, which was the extra but was, but inflation may be caused by something else. And you don't want to raise taxes to fight inflation because I don't know why. We never said that. And it becomes very bizarre. I mean, I, I think that the experience of COVID really ended the, this idea of MMT because we sort of had a mini experiment. Um, we like, I think it's wrong theoretically, and I think it's wrong in practice. And it's wrong theoretically because I, I don't think it's true that spending money is the same as creating money and taxing money is the same as destroying money and that we can manage the macro economy through fiscal policy. And I think it's wrong in practice because I don't think Congress is literally capable of managing the macro economy through fiscal policy. That would require, when we had a big bout of inflation, them saying, okay, we're going to significantly reduce the deficit, right? We're going to have big tax rate increases, which all the MMTers disavowed as soon as there was the opportunity to do that, as soon as we had a big bout of inflation. And so like, it's not going to work in practice. It doesn't work in theory. Um, it's very frustrating. But where I bring comfort is that like Stephanie Kelton, who's like the godmother of MMT, she was literally Bernie Sanders' chief economist when he was head of the budget committee. And Bernie Sanders is a person you would think would be pretty predisposed to believe in it because he's you know, pretty left wing as a democratic socialist. And Bernie Sanders didn't buy it at all. Um, he really, like, like, you look at his plan for president 2016, and like, it was pretty radical, but guess what? He tried to pay for it. So like, he had Medicare for all, but he also had huge tax increases to try to pay for it, because he didn't believe that you could borrow unsustainably. So I, I think that it was gaining a lot of traction prior to 2019. And I think now that we've had um, two years of very high inflation following two years of big deficits, and the MMTers responded in the way they did, I think it, it's really undermined their case. Like, sorry, I'm gonna go on this for one more second, but I could have, if I was advising the MMTers, I would say, look, you could actually say, this proves that we are right, it's just that Congress went too far. You could have said, this proves the only consequence of borrowing is high inflation. And look, there was borrowing that was high inflation, so now they need to have tax increases. The fact that they wouldn't say that, I think shows that it's maybe less of an economic philosophy and more of a political philosophy.